Hey everyone, this is Cece and welcome back to another What Am I Making on Wednesday. Today I decided to mirror the page that you see on the left and I've already posted about that on January 14th so you can uh, refer to that if you want to. I'll put the link in the description below. And essentially on that page I had already the modeling paste through a stencil and then I went over it with some leftover Inca gold that I used on the left page. So I'm gonna try and mimic what I have on the left but with different things. So I decided to cut some circles through uh, textbook paper and I'm just adhering them with collage polish. I also make sure that I go over the circles with some collage polish as well to seal them and I'm using an old card to flatten everything out. Now I've had a few questions asking me why do I use collage polish so often uh, for a few reasons. The one that I have is matte and if you use this on your page and you actually seal your page with this they will not stick together and I have done it before and it is totally true. Uh, the other reason is that it doesn't warp the page so much. I'm putting on some art guard because um, I might use my fingers again. <laughs> um, I showed you the colors that I was going to use and I'll mention those uh, in a bit but this is just a little bit of gesso to tone everything down and sort of mm, merge everything together and also to add some more or to get the texture to come out to pop out. And I will rub over the circles to uh, reveal some of that text. So the colors I'm using are ultramarine blue, green gold and teal. The green gold and the teal are fluid acrylics. The other one is just a regular one, the regular golden pink. And I'm going to start by making some circles with a brush <laughs> and then eventually I will let go of that brush and this is not something that I do on purpose it's just instinctual it's actually um, subconsciously I do that <laughs> I realize that whenever halfway through my work I always use my hands <laughs> I don't know why it just turns out that way it's a lot more fun anyways and I have more control so I'm just going to vary the colors around my circles I don't want them all the same patterns it just makes it more interesting the other reason too why I like to use my fingers so much is that I can control the um, the thickness of the paint that I put on um, I could do that with different width of brushes but I'm also very lazy and I don't want to uh, clean 20 million brushes <laughs> so my hands are perfect <laughs> why not I'm adding touches of white with my mean streak uh, stick by Sharpie I love how it picked up the uh, texture underneath Next, I'm doing some stamping with Jet Black Archival Ink because it's permanent, so anything I add over that will not make the ink bleed through. It also breaks the monotony of all those circles that I have in the background and in the foreground. Next, I'm going to be using a label, a tag, and an envelope, and I want to tone that down a little bit and merge them together also, so I'm adding a very thin coat of gesso. I will rub over the uh, label that I have so that I can still read the quote and I'm doing some stamping on the envelope just to bring the stamping back to the foreground as well. You're seeing me struggle with the tag. It's not the tag that came with the envelope, so I trimmed both uh, sides just to make it fit. I'm adding now a gold elastic cord uh, because I'm going to be adding more gold on that page to tie in with the left page. The quote that I have uh, found in a magazine is perfect for the 
uh, label that I found. The word is authentic and the quote says, he who trims himself to suit everyone will soon whittle himself away, which is perfect for the word authentic. To glue these elements down, again, I'm using my collage polish. And when I glue the label down, I don't want it to be glued completely. I want sort of like each of the sides to flip up, if that makes any sense. This is just going to add another texture to my page without too much bulk. To make these elements pop, I'm using the Stabilo Black All Pencil and I'm going around uh, them with a water brush. And I'm just going around them on the left hand side. I'm assuming that there's light coming through the right side. Um, in fact, there was when I was working. <laughs> so I guess that's where I got the idea. And then I'm using my permaball pen to go around the label and some of the circles. And with my Heidi Swap Color Shine spray bottle, which is almost done, I'm going to add some drops of gold and that will tie everything together with the left page. And that is pretty much it. So it's kind of the same as the left page, but with different methods, different material. And it's just fun to give yourself a challenge that way. I enjoy that because I don't have to be super creative. I just have to think of using different uh, material. The scheme is already there. So I just basically followed what I did. And that's it. As I said, the list of supplies will be listed in my blog post. And I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And I guess I will see, see you later. Bye.